Woo! The true example of AI, Tesla FSD, all right, version 12. Everyone hates Tesla. Guys, everyone must hate Tesla. I'm, I'm serious at this point. NVIDIA, language models with chat GPT, and then also the new videos that came out from source, whatever the heck it's called. You guys think that's artificial intelligence. Okay, it is. Okay, it's cool. It's cute, right? Chat GPT is a cute Google 2.0, right? It's almost the same thing. Like when you got Google, you go to Google, type in a keyword, let's say in a, a template, give me a list for talking points for a resume or bullet points for a resume. You type it in a Google and then it will give you a collection of websites that could give you that information. Chat GPT does the same thing just in one interface. And then it'll be like, okay, I'm going to give it. So it's almost an interactive database versus the database is more not is indirectly interactive when you're actually just typing into Google. You type it in, it comes up, and then you click and you find that website and go from there. But now the information is communicating with you and it's a feedback loop, right? So, okay, people are growing crazy. NVIDIA stock is through the roof. Right? Oh my gosh, the future of AI chips and AI in itself, right? Okay, cool, cool, cool. But when we have Tesla out here doing full self-drive in the real world, artificial intelligence is being utilized to do this. I mean, let's just hop in the video. You can see a little bit of it. All right, shout outs to the Mars catalog, but here we go. <laughs> okay. Depends what the conversation goes. Where are we headed? Uh, I'm staying in Hotel Zealous. Okay, what's it called? Zealous, Z-E-L-O-S. On Market Street. Yeah, that's it. New Montgomery, okay. <clears throat> All right, here we go. We're going from the airport, and then he's going to his hotel. Let's get it. You must be tired. Um, Not yet. <laughs> I will be once I realize I can be, I think. <laughs> <clears throat> Dude, so how's the Cybertruck? I've barely gotten to drive it. Really? I've barely gotten to drive So I guess the guy got a Cybertruck. He's all excited and elated, as you can hear that. Now, let's see when they actually start driving this bad boy and hitting out. Shoot. I'd be like, move. All right. So he's clicking it. Boom, boom. Here we go. We're underway. Hates it, though. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, not the truck, but the, the attention. She'll come around. <clears throat> I, but yeah. Uh, yeah. I've been wanting that thing ever since before <laughs> I even was revealed. You know, it's like, oh, yeah. you know. So he got lucky. He got the cyber truck. Shout outs to him, which is a great piece of engineering and here we go as you guys can see this is real world artificial intelligence okay so chat bots are cute they're 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 nice they're 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 amazing okay and so it, the videos the creation of videos you input a word text and they give you back videos that have been created this is all nice guys it's it's really it's really cute also it's nice but when you're looking at real world artificial intelligence right now in this EV, it's not even an EV. It's an EB, electric bot. It's an electric bot, an electrical robot moving in the real world capable of vision and from that vision moving in this world. So as you can see, the car just decided to switch lanes, go to the far left, right? Is decreasing in speed over the actual speed bumps, driving along the lines. And he's going to drive from the location of the airport to the hotel. Okay. And as you can see, it's creeping in. It's trying to make room. It's going forward. And then there we go. Because this person was driving a little bit close to him. So the car moved out, switched lanes, and is now going. Boom, boom. Okay, cool, cool, cool. That was a little bit wide on that turn, for sure, for sure. Let's bring up the video and make it a little bit bigger so you guys can see that, right? Because I want you guys to see this innovation. I want you guys to see this on the jumbo screen and see what real world artificial intelligence looks like versus the gimmicky chat language models type of stuff that you guys are getting right now. You guys are getting a bunch of language models regurgitating you a, a, a template of whatever presentation you need and you're like oh my gosh this is genius and then okay cool but 
And that's not everything. This is real world AI. This is artificial intelligence in the real world, vision based, and then it's driving. Look, the brain, the neural network for this is pretty advanced, guys. You have to remember that even being a real human, right? You don't get to drive until your particular age, right? You can't just be 10 years old and go out there driving, right? You have to at least wait from what I remember to be 16. So to be 16, to get the permit, right? And then you get the permit and you start learning. And then after that, you get the driver's license. So let's say that the FSD is on its permit phase right now. So it's grown enough as far as its ability to observe the world and be able to, from the basis of using the vision, be able to drive. And you know, with the permit guys, you also need a supervisor. So look, there's supervisors in the car, right? Us humans, we have to supervise the FSD. It is not driving without supervision. It needs to be supervised, right? And so this is what we got right here. So it's cruising down the highway, drive slow, homie. It's going about 70 miles per hour, doing completely good. It's the dark also, right? It's a nighttime. It's driving. It's changing lanes. It's looking like what? An actual human driver versus looking very robotic. And this is real world AI right here happening. And I keep highlighting, I keep repeating real world AI because it's really out here in the physical world navigating. And if you guys don't know, when it comes down to at least Tesla and their FSD, they don't utilize a lot of the other tech devices like LiDAR, right? Sonar, et cetera, like other companies utilize. They other, utilize other different indicators so that they can have full self-driving. One of the companies is Mobile Eye, right? I believe at this time they were purchased by Samsung, if I'm not mistaken, and it might be also SoftBank, but I don't know where they currently reside. But net net at the end of the day, that's the closest competition, right? And so when you'll see other full self-driving cars, you'll see like this big LiDAR system or just a big heavy chunk of equipment sitting on the roof, right? And even throughout the car, you might see other different types of equipment hanging off the vehicle. You know, Tesla just has their actual cameras. And it's the same thing that humans utilize to navigate the world. The roads have been built out in a favor of the human body. And of, of course, our ability to use our eyes. And then from that vision, that's how we drive. We utilize vision to drive. And so therefore, we're creating the similar model around FSD with Tesla is using a vision. And this time, this vision, our vision is not 360. All right. We got a 180 most. And then once you go to the higher limits or lower limits, it's the peripherals anyways, right? You got to turn your head, but you don't have simultaneous vision in a 360 map, like at the same time. This car does, so it has an advantage over us in that way, right? So you might not see the blind spot, but the car does because it doesn't have blind spots because it's a 360 camera. So that's the good part about it. So that adds on a layer of protection. And guys, quite honestly, when it comes down to even just if this could become a little bit better than human drivers, then this will save a lot of lives because one of the largest causes of deletion, you know, no longer being here, I have to watch how I say it, passing away is accidents. It's based on accidents. That's a large contributor of people passing away is vehicle accidents, right? Vehicle accidents and just driving a vehicle is very dangerous. So us knowing that we got to figure out What's a better solution? And this artificial intelligence, this FSD, is one of them. As you guys can see, it's making its way along the highways, doing quite good for itself. We're going to skip ahead a little bit on the back end because highway is pretty easy for the, the car to drive on a highway. It's getting inside those inner cities, right, that where the complexities start to come in, right? So we're off the highway, and we're starting to come into the city. And this is where it gets a little bit more complex. And this is where all the miracle happens. This is all the butter. And I'm happy that the majority of Wall Street and the majority of people don't understand the value of Tesla and this artificial intelligence, which we call FSD. I'm glad you guys don't believe in it. It's taking too long for your taste. It's, I mean, like I'm good because that means as a long-term investor, I could continue to have a larger window to continue to purchase the stock 
without that being added into the equation. Now, it's there slightly, but it's not there to the level of the hype and the increase in price that you get from a company like NVIDIA. Chat GPT, once people figured out they couldn't invest in it directly, they wanted the next best thing. And the next best thing to them were the chips, NVIDIA, right? We got AMD and everybody. But of course, in the favor of semiconductors, you know, once NVIDIA raised, also AMD and et cetera raised. But I'm just talking about those bases are just some patty cake stuff. Like, they make the chip. Congratulations. Other people could make a great chip, right? Not many people can make a great car. And they don't even make the chip. They just design the chip. And TSMC, shout out to Taiwan Semiconductor Company, they actually make the chip, right? They actually have the infrastructure. They are actually the needed component, component excuse me, for NVIDIA. To my understanding, they don't even have one foundry. So they just really use other people to service them. Shout outs to Tesla. Uh, they necessarily don't have their own foundry for sure, but they do the same thing, right, with TSMC. And that's very volatile given the political situation that they always cry about talking about Taiwan. So I'm talking about all that to say, to go back to the FSD and talk about its tremendous potential and its ability to drive through the inner city without this intervention, right? Human intervention has not happened in this video so far. It drove from the airport and it's gonna drive into this guy's hotel. As you can see right here on the map, it's only a couple of more blocks down the road. And this is the amazing part. Let's see what they're saying in the car, see if they're saying anything relevant, all right? Cause I've been rambling for about a year. You got a tent? But there's no, there's no like holes in it to put in like an air conditioning vent. Um, No, I don't think so. I mean, that's a huge, you could plug something into the bed, maybe, and like, you yeah. know, fan. So they're still talking about the cyber truck. But as you see, they're talking about the cyber truck just cruising along in this Tesla Model 3, Model Y. I'm not quite sure. And they're just having a good old time, right? Of course, being observant of the road. And as you see, the car is taking most of the blunt of the hard work. And this is true artificial intelligence. Nice cruise, nice change into the next lane, right? Just like a driver, probably better than a lot of you drivers, you know, because a lot of you people can't even drive out there really good. So as you can see, it's arriving to the hotel pretty soon here and they're just having a conversation and artificial intelligence is just moving in this world. And this is pretty serious, guys. Like, you know, these vehicles are heavy. They they weigh a lot. Not Tesla's vehicles, just vehicles, period. And so a lot of you guys don't really understand the seriousness and the complexities that it takes to drive and how just one inch or one foot to the left or right could mean a big disaster, right? A big accident. And so for this computer to be able to nav navigate that, guys, we can't be so scared about this type of technology. We've got to embrace it. We've got to be, of course, critical of it. Okay, I'm completely fine with that, but we got to be open to new technology and new innovation that comes out. And this is some cutting edge stuff right here. I mean, China's not even nowhere as close as this. And they have some good models and so does mobile eye also. But this vehicle, at least Tesla in its FSD ability is able to go anywhere without that geofencing, without that mapping that's necessary for mobile eye and other companies. They need to have all the streets mapped out already for then the car to be able to come in and use the cameras and the lidar and the sonar etc this vehicle just needs just to be placed somewhere and then boom it's off to the races and then of course now they're no longer having software engineers encode what to do at a stoplight it's really just learning off a language model so shout outs to chat gpt who really showed us that and they like it how it had that yellow light and it just didn't stop. It kind of proceeded forward. So that was cool and slow, of course, but that's what a human would have done. And as we come to the stop and arrive at the hotel, it comes over to the side and drops off the passenger. From the airport to the curb. And it's not in a no parking. Yeah, zero interventions from the airport to your hotel in San Francisco. Oh shit. Uh, thanks, man. It's been a pleasure meeting you. Yeah, dude. It was really uh, good to meet you. Thank you. Appreciate Definitely it. hit me up. I will. I will. <laughs>
Um, these happen not infrequently, so I'll let you know again. <laughs> All right, take care, man. All right, you too. Another satisfied customer. Like, come on, man. We were just there supervising it. So shout outs to the whole Mars catalog and in full self-driving beta 12.2.1. And then gave my friend Mark Pack a ride from San Francisco airport to San Francisco downtown at a hotel with zero interventions while we talked Tesla. Wow. And the video is also available in 4K. Uh, let's see what some people are saying. Let's see what you know normies are saying. All right. What is your guess as to when it will be truly available to everyone? And I'm still saying April at the earliest. Guys, I think it'll be a longer time than that. I just think we just need to be patient, right? It, it, it's new technology. It's, it's, it's not as easy or it's not as simple as we might think it is. It's very complex. The laws that need to come with it, it's crazy. Uh, thanks to Holzmar blog. It's incredible. It's incredibly exciting that the ride itself was born without any OSH moments as a passenger. And it would be cool if FSD had to custom GPTs in the future uh, with them fine tuned to focus on things like comfort, efficiency, and or acceleration. And she'll come around. Why do I get the impression as partner is in the woman? Okay, there is no regrets in life, just lessons. Amazing video. This makes me so excited for version 12. Who at Tesla can send it to my car now? Pretty please. This is absolutely this is absolutely it. Love the interior design. Another great video. I felt like a guest in the backseat sitting in, in Barcelona. Pretty cool. Yeah, it was pretty cool. More replies. Uh, the negotiation with the white SUV at the airport on who could drive past first was pretty bad. I saw it do something like that with a car trying to change into the lane in an early FSD 12.1 video and to the other driver. It almost looked like you were trying to block them. Yeah, so that was a minor inconvenience, definitely, but still didn't require any intervention. And definitely any human would have probably made the same type of judgment or would have did the same thing. So shout outs to that and FSD. Everyone loves to hate Tesla, right? They love the favorite NVIDIA. They love the favorite AMD. They love the favorite chat GPT, but they don't want to favor the most advanced form of artificial intelligence known to humans on the planet currently, which is FSD. That's undebatable hands down, okay? You taking words, or if you taking a bunch of language models from Google, and re and then distributing them right back out to me that's cool too don't get me wrong or i'm putting in dog at a picnic and you send me back a video of a dog at a picnic a picnic amazing okay guys i'm not going to say that's not cool that's cool okay but i'm just going to put you on the road and you're just going to drive i'm going to tell you the location you're going to just drive there that's crazy that's more crazy than me typing in dogs with a penguin on the mountains having a picnic like i know that's cute i know you guys like that but net net at the end of the day i'm talking real artificial intelligence right so if you just replace that artificial intelligence that goes into that vehicle and then you place it in a humanoid bot what are we talking about now then you take that and you put it into a bot Ooh, come on, guys. Rock with me. Rock with me. So FSD is not only going to be in the vehicle, but it has the potential to also be in the robots. Come on. And so we're going to cover another video when we're going to cover Optimus and the technology in the graduation of Optimus, how it went from its bumblebee phase to its current second gen phase and the massive amounts of change that has came so far. And I'm definitely super excited for this technology to continue to come. And like I said, that bot right there has the same full self-driving capability, but it's way more easier than the humanoid. It's easier to walk and just do things as far as having the vision to be able to walk forward. And of course, it's complex in the dexterity of the mind to the brain to move items and et cetera. But we're getting there. We're getting there. We're moving along pretty good. And one of the biggest things I would say that people have to get used to 
is that these robots and artificial intelligence is not the iPhone 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. It's not that, okay? So it's not as easy as, well, why ain't it come out yet? They taking too long. This is different, okay? This is not an iPhone, AirPods, none of that. iPod, tablet, it's none of that, okay? So it's way more complex. It takes time to figure these things out. And this is advanced right here. And guys, we are leading it. We are leading the pack strong with Tesla. We're leading the pack strong with SpaceX. And we're bringing back innovation. We're bringing sexy back. The age of just creating software and, and services, that's good and that's fine and dandy. But we got to get back to creating infrastructure, get back to creating products, hardware, equipment. That is cutting edge technology like it's never seen before that's what we're creating over there at tesla and that's what we're creating at spacex and even though everybody loves to hate tesla we love to create they love to hate we love to create shout outs to the greats at tesla the employees and everybody that's working hard to push the mission forward never mind the haters they hate us because they ain't us shout outs to everybody obstacles the opportunity Everyone hates Tesla with a passion, but they hate us because they ain't.